We made it, episode 10 of Craft Chocolate TV. And today is one of my more favorite parts of the process, ball milling. And ball milling is one of three main ways of making chocolate. We have stone melangers, there's ball mills, and then there's roller mills. And we, we looked into roller mills and ball mills a lot about three and a half, four years ago because we wanted to get the texture of our chocolate um, more refined and the distribution curve closer together. So I know we've talked about a little bit of micron size in one of the previous episodes. This is one of the ways that we achieve that. And so the way that the ball mill works is there's a water jacket on it, all right here, and it starts to heat up because of a heating element at the bottom, and there's about 80,000 little balls, very, very hard and round, and as all the, the pre-refined nibs come out, and they're kind of like a powder consistency, it goes into the ball mill, and all the balls are hot, and so it turns into cocoa liquor. Uh, that quickly, because nibs are made of cocoa solids, which is like a lot of cocoa powder, and then cocoa butter. And so all of a sudden it looks like chocolate as it starts to heat up in the ball mill. Now, there's the shaft that you can see right here and there's arms sticking off the shaft. And as it starts to spin, it sounds really loud because you've got 80,000 balls rubbing together. And there's a pump at the bottom that starts to suck all the chocolate through. So as it turns into cocoa liquor, it's getting sucked through all the balls, which is refining because they're all getting agitated. And then it's pumped up through this pipe and drops back down on top. Then it repeats over and over and over again. And so the, the nibs the coca, turn into coca liquor and that then gets sugar added after say an hour. And everyone's process is a little different here, but we'd add sugar after about an hour and then we'll let it spin for something like two or three hours to really get the sugar refined to this 18 micron, 16 to 18 micron range that we're shooting for. Um, so awesome tool. The stone melangers, we had problems where after they got even a few months old, we started to notice that it didn't refine as well and we would get five microns and we get 25 microns. And that was a really big distribution curve. And although a lot of people would never be able to taste that, we did and we noticed that everyone still liked the texture more from something through a ball mill or a roller mill. And a roller mill, there's a three roller mill, which a lot of smaller chocolate makers use. And then there's a five roller mill and they're just, rolls stacked up on top of each other, five of them. And then as all the chocolate goes through, they're spaced at a certain distance where it has to be a certain size to exit. Um, whether it's stacked on top of each other like a five roll or whether they're stacked next to each other like a three roll. And these are just like steamroller looking uh, pieces close together that achieve that same um, micron size or refinement size. And uh, we ended up with a ball mill because it was way less energy way less water usage and way easier to take care of. It is also much safer, in our opinion, than uh, something like a roller mill, which would have done the job that we were looking for, but they're super, super heavy. They're expensive to refurbish if you get a chip in one of the rolls, whereas this is pretty easy to maintain and quite automated. So we can program this and walk away. Uh, we have a, a PLC system on it, so we can control how quickly this goes. We're running at like 50 hertz, and uh, that really does the job. It sounds like Niagara Falls in here when it's uh, going, so we had to insulate this room really well. The, the walls, the ceiling, because we didn't want to piss off our neighbors, so this room is really insulated and easy to clean. Everything here gets flushed with water as it gets too hot, and so then it dumps into a floor sink that then uh, goes out. So we have a lot of control over this process. There's also a little vent in it. As all the uh, acid is coming out of the chocolate, it gets sucked up and blown out so that we can uh, get rid of a lot of the vinegar in this initial phase, which a lot of it burns out when it's getting refined. So this is Ball Mills. Please send us your questions on Ball Mills. We love ours and happy chocolate making.